If you are a worship leader or a tech team leader at a church, chances are you have a computer in your tech booth that is dedicated to fulfilling a lot of tasks. That could include running ProPresenter for all of your displays, maybe it controls your lighting software, maybe you're even recording audio into that computer. And here's a common challenge. Let's say your computer is running ProPresenter and you want to be able to send out multiple unique video displays to different destinations. In our case, we send a primary display for our congregation to see, we have a stage display for our band, and then we want to have lower thirds lyrics for our video switching software. In this video, I'm going to show you the professional solution to expanding that connectivity to your media computer in your worship ministry tech booth. So if you're looking for this type of solution for your worship ministry, keep watching this video. I'm going to walk you through how I set mine up, and then I'll show you what the end product looks like for displaying you know, multiple video displays through ProPresenter as well as sending video into our black magic switcher. So I kind of have this love-hate relationship with dongles. I'm talking the little devices that go from USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 on your MacBook Pro to uh, regular USB, Ethernet, HDMI. You know, these computers that we use to run ProPresenter, LightKey, any other programs in our worship uh, ministry, they're, they're functioning as like a production hub, but unfortunately, these computers are being made with less and less ports and connectivity. So then when you try to do anything relatively advanced, sending uh, multiple streams of video or just data out of the computer, it gets really complicated. And then you're relying on these like $20 dongles off of Amazon. And that's just a complete recipe for disaster. We've dealt with this problem so many times of like an HDMI connection just dropping and our projection screen not working. And lately, as I've been trying to explore some more professional broadcast video solutions for our church I was like how in the world am I going to send you know three or four video outputs from ProPresenter so that we can have lower thirds lyrics we can send our main feed to our main display we have to send a feed to our stage display I was like where, where in the world am I gonna find a, a dongle like that and turns out I found one and the thing is this isn't really a dongle this setup is a PCIe expansion chassis. Welcome to Jake Tech Tips. In this video, we are gonna get really nerdy, um, but this is the type of stuff I just get really excited about these days. So the ultimate goal with these items here is instead of having a bunch of dongles on our computer with a bunch of different cables coming out of this MacBook Pro, um, we're just gonna have one Thunderbolt 3 cable and that's gonna take care of all of our connectivity needs. So I feel like I did my research well enough. I ordered all this gear. Now I'm gonna take it out of the box and set it up. We have the Sonnet Echo Express SE. More specifically, the SE3. Okay, we've got a nice hefty power supply. So that is the chassis for our PCIe cards. So that guy's like step number one. Next we have the cards that are gonna go inside the chassis. So we have a Sonnet Allegro USB 3.0 four port card. So four USB things for like our uh, MIDI automation with eye connectivity devices, as well as our uh, DMX uh, to USB adapter that we use with light key. And then we have two extra ports for, for whatever we want. So this is the four port USB card. Next up, we have a Presto Solo 10 gigabit ethernet port. There it is, a little ethernet card. We have the one of the real reasons why I wanted to get this expansion chassis, the Deck Link Duo by Blackmagic. It has four independent channels for SD and HD formats up to 1080p 60. So this thing can send video out of one of these four uh, channels. Also it can receive video if I wanna send video back to the computer. In this case, I mainly want it to send video out of the computer, one for our main, uh, display for our congregation, um, one for our stage display, and then I'm gonna send a lower thirds to our video switcher, and then we just got, we have an extra one that we can we can use for whatever we want. There we go, the deck link duo, so pretty. Look at, so there's four inputs and outputs of SDI, but there's five ports, so not really sure why. Uh, I'll probably find out eventually. So the next step is I'm gonna open up the expansion chassis. It's just a couple screws on the bottom. Should come apart and then I put the cards in and then fire it up, should be ready to go. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Um, you can see 
these are like the three slots that the cards go in. And this is gonna be the, the back of it, the device where we're gonna be able to plug all of our uh, devices into that. So that's it, I just took out the little front plates uh, where you're gonna put the cards in. This bottom plate, this is where like you're gonna plug the Thunderbolt uh, three cables in. So it'll go into here and then the other end will go into my MacBook Pro. And apparently you can plug like multiple things into here. That's pretty cool. I feel like I should have a degree in computer science or something like that before I mess around with this stuff. Okay, there we go. So I think, yep, you just kinda, just kinda push it in there. I think it's in there. Um, man, you guys, the IT guys are gonna just laughing at me probably for how much a noob I am with this stuff, type of stuff. Just an Apple fanboy. Look at me, I got a PCIe expansion port thingy. So I don't have to have so many dongles. I'm such a computer genius. All right. Um, all right, and then the next one is gonna be the, the USB 3.0. Horb pub, horb. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That fe it feels so good when it just sits in there like that. Okay. Um, thought I lost the screw. Yes. Okay, guys. I did it. I think that makes me a professional, qualified computer tech. Look at that. So we got the three cards in there. Uh, pretty straightforward. Here's what it looks like. So now, hopefully you guys are getting a better idea of what this is gonna do. So, we've got our SDI video outs, we've got our ethernet cable, and then we've got our USB ports. Luke or Ashton, make sure when you edit this, you just wanna really cut out all the parts where I'm struggling. So everybody still thinks that I'm a pro. This should be my new opener to YouTube videos. Hey, my name is Jake Gosselin on Church Run. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I make videos about it anyway, and a lot of people watch it and seem to like it, so I do it anyways. Okay, ha ha ha, look at that guys. There we go, there's the cards. So now I'm in my studio and I've had the expansion chassis up and running for about a week, learning how to use it, testing it out, um, and so far it has been fantastic. So now that I actually know what I'm doing with this thing, because it always takes me multiple hours to like figure this stuff out when I'm setting it up for the first time, uh, I wanna show you what it looks like when you actually plug everything in, uh, you get the Thunderbolt 3 cable connected to your computer, and you start utilizing these expansion cards. So this is the computer that we run ProPresenter on, and um, I've got a few apps running on here. Of course, ProPresenter is the obvious one, but before you can just go and start Start configuring ProPresenter with your DeckLink Duo card. You have to get the Blackmagic Desktop Video Setup app, um, and then when you uh, plug in your expansion card, it, you're gonna it's gonna detect the DeckLink Duo. So it pretty much just works once you install this app. And you can go into this app and you can configure um, these different settings for the video inputs and outputs on the def different video devices. So remember the DeckLink Duo, it's like four video capture devices in one. We have Duo One. One, Duo 2, Duo 3, and Duo 4. For Duo 1 and for Duo 2, I just have those at 1080p at 30 frames a second, and that is for my main display and my stage display confidence monitor. And then Deck Link Duo 3, I have that at 1080 24 frames per second. That's gonna be for our broadcast feed, and this is just sending lower thirds lyrics to the uh, Blackmagic ATEM switcher. And then for 4, I have that pretty much empty. We're not using it for anything right now. So once I had that configured, then I can go into Pro Presenter and I go to preferences and I can go to screens and then screen configuration and then here um, you're gonna see that we've got our main audience screen and for my output it's DeckLink Duo 1 and that's working just fine I have it going out of the DeckLink SDI to a Blackmagic micro converter to HDMI and to the flat screen TV that we're using behind us as we lead worship and then for our confidence monitor um, very similar setup DeckLink Duo 2 1080p, 30 frames a second output, that's going to our stage display monitor. So then for our broadcast feed, we wanted to send in lower thirds lyrics so we could overlay that on the final broadcast video. So I have that on DeckLink Duo 3, and then I have that on 24 frames per second, as you see right here. And that's all I had to configure here in the screen settings. But then ProPresenter has this cool looks settings feature. And what I did is for our stream display, I made it so we only 
display the content on the slide. So like the lyric text content. And then I also applied a theme to this look so that we have the text automatically put down at the bottom of the screen. So when you go back and look at what we got going here on our outputs from ProPresenter, here's our main display. I actually have no lyrics on it at all. Um, here is our confidence monitor. You can see the lyrics. And then here is our stream, our lower thirds uh, lyrics that we have coming out on the bottom of the display. So ProPresenter is talking to the Decklink duo and then that is sending the video signals to the proper destination and it's working really well. The other thing I want to show you, if I go to my network preferences, you'll see here that this Thunderbolt Ethernet device shows up and that is indeed the Ethernet card that we have plugged into the Sonnet Echo Express. So that's working fine and then I was also able to get up and running our ATEM software. I can open my ATEM software control app, I put in the right IP address and now I can control my switcher. Then I wanted to test to make sure that our USB 3.0 uh, four port card is working just fine. And I did that by plugging in this little Shure audio interface uh, via USB into that card. And then I can just go to my sound preferences here. And then here we can see the Shure MVI shows up just fine. So all the connectivity on my expansion chassis is working great. And all I have plugged into this computer is a charger, and then I have a Thunderbolt 3 cable going into the expansion chassis. I thought the expansion chassis was gonna be able to charge the computer and it looks like it charges, like this little icon up here changes to the lightning bolt, but it says not charging. So unfortunately it doesn't, it appears that it doesn't charge. We do have to have the standard MacBook charger plugged into the computer as well. And then the other downside I discovered is that the ethernet card that I put in the expansion chassis does not work with Dante. And when I say it doesn't work, it kind of doesn't work. Well, it's pretty critically doesn't work because it just doesn't work sending audio. Like I plugged it in and it will detect the Dante network. I can go into the controller app and it, you know, it shows that it can make a connection to other devices, but then no audio actually goes through it. So then I switched to a regular, you know, ethernet dongle uh, to USB-C on this computer and then it, that connected to that network and it worked just fine and the audio went through it. So I'm pretty sure there is an issue. And I even went to this compatibility chart that Sonic Technology has and I looked at the Dante sound cards here and look how there's like a little, a little note here at the bottom of the document. So note number five, uh, Dante PCIe sound cards have software anomalies in Thunderbolt expansion chassis. So Sonnet is working with Odney to resolve the issue. So that's a bummer. It looks like it just doesn't work. Even if I were to go and purchase like a actual Audinate sound card for my expansion chassis, I don't think that would, that would work reliably for me either. So hopefully they come out with a fix for that soon because if I could also send Dante through that port, that would be amazing. In the meantime, we will just have you know, we use up one of our freed up USB-C ports to an ether another ethernet cable to connect it to our Dante network. So that is my setup with the Sonnet Echo Express expansion chassis with some great expansion cards for a worship tech ministry context. I'm going to list this exact setup below in the description so you can find the chassis, you can find the right expansion cards. I actually made the mistake when the first uh, ethernet expansion card you guys saw me install at the unboxing, it was like some sort of optical fiber ethernet. So I had to, re I, had to I have to return it still, but I ordered another one from Amazon on, got it in a few days and um, I had to get that fixed. But I'll make sure you guys have the right links so that you can order the exact right setup that I showed you right here where you can get it up and running with ProPresenter with your Decklink Duo. Um, you can get your Ethernet uh, gigabit port set up and then you also can get the four port USB set up for any other ports you need. And like I said, we're gonna use those USB ports for us for our DMX, uh, our USB to DMX adapter uh, for our lighting system and then also a uh, USB port for our iConnectivity MIDI devices. That's what we use for automation. And then we'll just have two more ports left over. So I'm gonna list all that gear below in the description, but understand you can customize this to your liking. I'm gonna include Sonnet's compatibility chart as well, so you guys can see all of the different options available for the different expansion cards you can put in your chassis. 
If you would like help from my team and have us come alongside you to build out some strong tech infrastructure for your worship ministry, then check out worshipleaderschool.com. We've got online courses and we have coaching that happens every single weekday where we can give you real-time help and guidance as you continue to, to grow yourself and grow your worship ministry. So click the link below to learn more. Thanks so much for watching this video. Smash that thumbs up button if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends so it can help them out as well and they can eliminate all of those frustrating dongles. Thank you.